Hi, and welcome to video two of section four, loading pre-trained models with DNO. In the previous video, we saw the cat versus dogs problem, and we showed where to look for pre-trained models that we can reuse. In this video, we will see how to set values to DNO variables, and we will talk about scikit-learn DNO, a library that has already some large models for image classification using Python and DNO. Without further ado, let's move to our IPython notebook. We already saw how to get values from Theano symbolic variables that are stored in shared memories, and we saw how to update those values using functions updates. We can also do that using set value. Here in this quick reveal, we are generating a Theano shared variable, getting its value, and setting a new one. Basically, this is what we have to do to reuse a model with Theano, we define all the filters and weights of the neural network and set their values to those that were already trained on a previous application. If you are interested in a specific model, you can read its specifications, load the necessary Theano variables, and build a graph and compile it. But instead of doing that ourselves from scratch, here you're going to use scikit-learn Theano that already did that for several models. Scikit-learn Theano is a Theano-based library inspired and most importantly built to work with the famous Scikit-learn machine learning library. If you came to a deep learning course with Python, you probably already know about Scikit-learn. So you can imagine how big of a deal Scikit-learn Theano is. Also, Scikit-learn Theano already have some really nice pre-trained models ready to use, like the Overfit and the Google Net. Here, on their tutorials, you can see how they use all these models to do feature extraction, object detection, and other really nice things. I strongly recommend you to check this out. Right here, they also have an example with the cats and dogs dataset. You can check it out for an alternative solution to the one that we will provide here. Back to our code. Let's check out a simple example of how to use scikit-learn Theano and the overfit model to classify images. Overfit is a large and deep neural network that was used to win the ImageNet object detection competition in 2013. In this cell, we download two images and visualize them using matplotlib. They should be similar to what we will get in our cats and dogs dataset. Check out this cell. It takes only two lines of code to set up a classifier with scikit-learn Theano. One to import the classifier and another one to instantiate it. The first time that you run this, scikit-learn Theano will download the parameters of the model that you're using. With this line of code, we get the prediction for our cat image. Those names are class names from the ImageNet dataset that the model best matches with the input image. The ImageNet dataset has several classes dedicated to cats, as you can see, which makes it easier for our specific problem. A possible solution then would be to just look at the image predictions and see if they have the word cat or dog on it. For the dog image, the model also does pretty well, but some of these results are breeds of dogs, and they do not have the word dog itself. Note also that another problem is ImageNet has several other classes that are not related to cats or dogs. Also, if the classification problem that we are interested is not covered by the ImageNet that I said, using the exact predictions of the model trained on it won't help a lot. It doesn't hurt to try, but in most of the cases, we would be better to train a model from scratch. For example, let's say that you want to classify pictures from outer space galaxies. Imagine that trained models won't help a lot. Besides scikit-learn Theano, here are also other APIs that you can use for classifying images and building in your applications. I played especially with Clarify's API. For instance, I built this Slack Hubot script that gets images on your chat and classifies it. 
I hope that this video will inspire you to build even better applications. In this video, we saw how to use pre-trained large neural networks to classify images. In the next video, we will understand how to use models such as the overfit for other applications.